Hello folks, we're going to go over composites and this is going to be pretty brief because we're just going to focus on cylinders and cones. We'll do composites again next week when we do uh, the other solids, uh, particularly uh, prisms. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and get going. So composites are nothing more than just putting things together. You build a house, you got a roof, you got rooms and all that. It's the same thing in geometry. We could take a prism and a pyramid and create uh, this little cool looking th thing right here. We can also subtract and cut out things. And this is actually pretty important as well. So I have an example of both. Now the example I was provided, I should have really, after I did this on paper, I really sh probably should have went and found one with easier numbers. Um, but this is going to be calculator heavy. But the key thing in doing composites is the number one thing you want to do at every single problem is write out a plan. So let's just focus on volume right here first. We'll do surface area second. So volume, you want to write out your plan. You want to have your volume of your cone plus volume of your hemi, all right? You want to have that plan set up. Then you're simply going to do each problem separately and then plus them together. That's it. So you've already done volume of cones. You've already done volumes of hemispheres. You're just going to simply add them together. So volume of the cone is nothing more than one-third the area of the base times its height. So let's go ahead and write down our little things here. We got radius of 4.9, all right. We got a height of 12.6, and that's the height of our cone. Now remember, hemispheres don't really have heights, they just have radiuses, so that applies to the hemisphere. We would like our lateral area in the future, so when we do surface area right here, and that's just going to be a squared plus b squared equals c squared. I already worked that out. But I'll, it's right down here. L is equal to 12.6 squared, okay, plus 4.9 squared is equal to L squared, all right? So what we're going to do is we got L squared is equal to um, 18.77, all right? No, I'm sorry, 182.77. I should put my classes on. Alrighty, I did work this out prior. And L is equal to 13.5. Okay, so L is 13.5. My big B is nothing more than pi r squared. Alright, big B is pi r squared. So that's 4.9 squared times pi. And I came up with 75.43. And someone could check on their calculator, make sure I didn't hit a wrong button. Alright, so 75.43. This is like when you're doing cooking, you want to have all your ingredients all ready to go. So you have everything ready in the kitchen, all set to go. You have your butter cut up, you have your flour measured, you have everything ready. Because then once you start cooking, you just toss it into the pan. You're going to toss it into your formulas. So volume of the cone is equal to one-third base height. Volume of the hemi is just two-thirds pi r cubed, all right? So in goes these ingredients right into your formula. So here we go, one-third. So we have one-third, area of the base is 75.43. Okay, that's a seven. Ah, all right. And my height is 12.6. Absolutely calculator on this. All right. And then we're going to add in the volume of my hemisphere, two-thirds pi and 4.9 cubed, all right? And when I put this all in the calculator, um, it comes out to, this part's 316.8, if someone can check my work, and this part comes out to be 246.4. Okay, and when we add it all together, we get 563.2 centimeters cubed. All right, I should have left my room for my surface area, but surface area actually is pretty darn easy because this is going to be the lateral area of the cone plus the lateral area of the hemi, all right? And we're just going to plug those into the formulas. We have all the, our ingredients ready to be tossed in. So lateral area of the cone is nothing more than pi RL and surface area, lateral surface area of the hemisphere is 2 pi r squared. 
So in we toss these things in. That's going to be pi times 4.9. And my L, we've configured it to be 13.5. Um, plus 2 pi times 4.9 squared. Toss that all in your handy dandy calculator and you get 358.68. That's a 3, 358.68 centimeters squared. Okay? So the key to this is if you cook, you know preparing your ingredients first is very, very important. It's going to be the same thing for this right here. You want to list them all out. Solve for your B, solve for L. Pythagorean is going to be involved in almost all these. All right? So you're going to solve for all these things. And then when you write your formulas out, you're just plugging them in. Then you grab your calculator and knock it out. That's it. So let's take a look at our next example and our last one. All right? So here we cut out a bowl shape in this um, cylinder. So number one is a plan. Volume of the whole thing is equal to the volume of the cylinder minus volume of the hemisphere. All right? We're going to subtract it out. Took an ice cream scooper and scooped out that ice cream out of that uh, yummy, yummy um, ice cream, which sounds really good. I need to go get some. Okay, bluebell. All right, bluebell for lunch. Not really. My wife would kill me. All right, so here we go. Volume of the cylinder is nothing more than area of the base times height. So we need R is 3, H is 7. That takes care of that part. Big B is just pi R squared, right? That's 9 pi. All right. And we don't need much else because my radius for this right here is also 3. Okay. So let's plug it all in. So volume of the cylinder, that's just area of the base times height, okay? So that's going to be area of the base times height minus volume of the hemi. That's going to be 2 thirds pi r cubed, right? So in we go. 9 pi times 7. That's going to be 63 pi minus 2 thirds pi 2 3 to the third power, which is 27. Okay? 27 divided by 3, well, that's going to be 9. 9 times 2 is 18. So I'm going to have 63 pi minus 18 pi. And that gives me 45 pies. Ooh, raspberry pies. Um, is equal to 141.37 inches cubed. All right? And we have happy days. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and get this posted, and I will see you all on WebEx tomorrow.